Hello everyone, and welcome to Midweek Minutes. This past Sunday, our message was taken from Ephesians 4, verses 4 to 6. This passage gave us seven guideposts to focus on as we walk this Christian journey. Ephesians 4, verse 4 to 6 says, For there is one body and one spirit, just as you've been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, in all, and living through all. Focus. Focus can be an elusive thing to grab hold of, but you can do it if you put your mind to it. And that's where it starts. Philippians 4.8 tells us to fix your thoughts on things that are true and honorable, right and pure, lovely and admirable. Think on things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Our environment, things within, our thought life is key. Also key is our environment, what's without. We have the ability to set the parameters of our environment and our environment. Philippians 4.8 told us that. Proverbs 4.25 through 26 also reiterates our ability by telling us to mark out a straight path for our feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. You see, we are a product of nature and nurture. God has given us a new nature. We have to allow that nature to be nurtured through the renewing of our mind and placing ourselves in environments that help us to grow. Yesterday, my wife and I were listening to the school board meeting outlining the plans to open fully online for the upcoming school year. If you have children, you know they had to do distance learning starting back in March. And I've heard stories of people's children doing all their work on one day and spending the rest of the week playing video games. But my wife and I made sure that the environment was set to help our children succeed. You see, our students had a school day from nine to one. We set up a classroom in our garage. They had to wear their school uniforms. And I served as proctor to help ensure that they stayed on task. Now we did all this to help create the environment, but our students had a role to play and they did a great job finishing up the school year with great grades. Now, Jesus has come. He's fixed us positionally. He continues to fix us through the process of sanctification, but we can't just sit back and see what he's fixing to do. We have a role to play. You see this one life, it's a work of art. Yes, I said it, a work of art. And the environment that we place ourselves in is the canvas. And how we govern our minds is the paint that creates this work of art. Yesterday, I was putting something together and someone said I should read the instructions. I jokingly responded, instructions? <laughs> what are those? Well, instructions are there to help us put things together. And if you're a believer, you have instructions to help put your life together. So I encourage you to immerse your paintbrush into the one palette that leads to eternal life so that we can paint by the numbers. Focus. Thank you for joining us for Midweek Minutes, and I encourage you to join us back here next week. God bless you.